I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR, and beside me, capping off the day, is Ellis Merton. We always have fun at these conferences together. We just talk about everything and anything, anything yeah. and everything. So where'd you get that dress? So the friends. <laughs> it's a silk. <laughs> Not at a mining conference, but I, it is oh, silk. Yes. Lovely. And you got your beautiful suit in Italy. Uh, Italy. Mm -hmm. In. Uh, Milan, thank you very like much. I feel like there needs to be a, a mining conference in Italy at I some point. I think there, uh, Miami is a good start. Miami is a great start. Great clothes here. Yeah. But they're very weather. expensive compared to Milan. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing since you landed in Miami? This Today was a wonderful day at the conference. It's been well, busy. Well, yesterday I bought some amazing, amazing shoes. Oh. Like, like this. Uh -huh. And these are, these are by Cole Haan. Love Kohan, very comfy. And they're very comfy, and they're not too expensive. Okay. Only set me back, uh, set me back bucks? about 150 <laughs> bucks, but I bought two other pairs, so I'm out 500 now. Hey, it's worth it. They, uh, you have to stomp the pavement in Miami, <laughs> walking around, getting some sunshine. Now, Ellis, who have you been speaking to at this conference? Sorry. Who have you been speaking to? Well, you did. Um, you did a presentation at lunch. That guy over there. That was wonderful. You and did a great job. That guy. Mm -hmm. And then that guy, I, I spoke to, today I spoke with uh, Rob Mueller from NASA. Okay. Swamp I missed, work. I missed the beginning of you your out. presentation. I was there and you just, <laughs> you walked out. I caught the end, I caught the end. But what were you guys talking about? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you because you walked Give out on it. Give me the Cool's Notes Why version. should I tell you? <laughs> I interviewed someone. They said it was very interesting what you guys Why were Why don't you ask them about. what we talked about then? Because you walked out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give us the Cool's Notes version. Space mining. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Space mining. Space mining. We what talked space about mining? space mining, so and how how if you're mining in space, you're not bringing back things for the Earth. Okay. Because that's ridiculous. You're mining in space, primarily water. Okay. You're looking for water and silica, and you're making things in space with things you make in space on the moon. Mm -hmm. and the Mars to expand the human race out to the solar system. So how feasible, if you were mining for water in space, how feasible is it to actually obtain the water and bring it back to well, You to don't Earth. get it from actual space. Okay. <laughs> you get it from the moon, hmm. where 42% of the silica and other rocks and mulch on, on the, the moon, and by the way, the moon used to be this big crystal perfection thing. Crystal perfection thing. I just waved at a guy over there. He doesn't care, and I'm not that way. He so, know what you're doing. so no. So <laughs> the moon, stands. the moon he is, know this is this big. The moon. Okay. It, this is the moon. It's crystal at some point. Then all these mother chunk and asteroids and 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 comets. They hit the moon and they've turned it into this gigantic ball of sand. Like it's like Phoenix only round and hanging up there in space. You want to laugh, but you're just holding back, aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay. I, I find this fascinating. So, so now it's all this like crunched up stuff, like crunched up crystal and glass. And you go there and what you do, you need water. You need water on the moon for two reasons, for whoever is there that needs to drink water. The second reason, that, are you paying attention? No. Okay, the second reason you need water on the moon mm -hmm. is to, uh, for electrolysis. So you can make hydrogen because H2O, two H2O, parts hydrogen, yeah. one part oxygen. And hydrogen is the new green energy, supposedly, right? And it powers things. Sunlight is free, it's, it's plentiful. On the moon, you get that, and you 42% of the water, like I mentioned, is in, how am I doing, good? Is in, is in the, the mulch that used to be crystal, but now it's a pounded moon. It's a pounded moon. And then you use that 42% significant, right? Because you think, you think when you look up at the moon, there's no water there? There is. There's water on the moon. And so where where is it? It's in. Located? It has to be extracted from the surface. All the crappy the sand there. Hmm. And how much water do you think is up there? Forty-two percent of everything. I don't know what that exact amount is, but enough. And how how did that number come to be? Like how did well I did my research. That? Uh, hey, we're talking here. Everyone's ready for their glass of wine. It's getting rowdy. <laughs> I think the meetings are over. 
<laughs> all, the, all the conversations are turning into conversations like this. <laughs> so I, wait, I'm completely I do want to know though, how, how, how do they find out that there's that much water on the moon? How well, these are that? NASA scientists. I'm, I like you, only I'm not exactly like you. I'm a journalist, mm -hmm. and I just do a little research and come up with these numbers based on information I've seen or I'm told. Mm -hmm. I read about it, and, and Rob Mueller told me about it. There's 42% water extracted from all that. It's like our bodies, right? Mm -hmm. What are we like what? Gustavo, are we like 80%? 80, 80, we're 80% water? 80%. You don't look like you're all water. You look like you, but in there is 80% water. Mm -hmm. That's how it's done. So what other resources? Can, can we extract I'm mugging the moon? for the Are camera there? right now. <laughs> Let's move if on from want, the moon. If we don't want water, what else can we extract from, uh, from the moon? Hmm, I don't remember. Bunch of errors and stuff. Okay, all right. And so what was the rest of the conversation? You were up there talking for a long time. I know, I've got a like headache said, from it. You know end, why? But what else were you talking about? What robotics, other robotics, robotics and, okay. and VR and how the gaming world is going to plug into NASA and and space and it's going to be fun for everybody to play in that world without actually having to go to space but yet you're making things move on the moon like excavators and 3D printing going to build these big industrial area on the moon using 3D printers that will scale up in size where you print something small like that maybe like that and then maybe you make a whole building the size of this whole, maybe the camera, it's not panning here. All you see is all this back here, but we're in a big convention center. Mm -hmm. So so that'll, keep it down. So that will be all 3D printed piece by piece in the future. Very cool. Really? This is a different side of mining that we haven't discussed before. Oh, yeah. Have you been talking to some of the other people on the floor about? Nobody cares. Concept? Nobody cares. No, no. What do they You're care the about? What are you? I don't what know. What does everyone care about? Everybody has their own issues, right? <laughs> don't you have yours that you're covering right now with your beautiful smile? You're just like, but behind the scenes, like something's bugging you. Well, everybody. No, being, I'm in Miami. Nothing is bugging me. I am. I'm. What's quite my concerned. problem then? This <laughs> We're is a in great Miami. place. This is a good spot. I know. Well, good you you live all... where? Vancouver. I'm in Vancouver. Okay, don't be sad. It's a nice city. It's a great city, it's but I'd great. much rather be in Miami in February. And you are in Miami in February. <laughs> Alice, what are you going to get up to tonight? Sorry? There's an after event. After after our interview, I think uh, I'm scooting outside for a little more networking and, and some wine. I'm gonna what are you going to get up to? I'm going to find some aspirin somewhere because I have a headache. Oh, from well, you being still have another day. And then I'm going to probably chat with you and a few other folks tonight. and. Mm -hmm. Network. We like Are you the doing network. interviews while you're here? Ellis no. Martin report? No. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. No. You know, I I feel that if people want to do an interview with me, they'll pay me a lot of money, and then I'll do it at my convenience and their convenience too, instead of just just like what you guys are doing. You're giving it away for free. How do you make <laughs> money on that? Paid. We need to get paid. <laughs> well, that's it. Your time's up. We gotta go. I'm not getting paid Perfect. enough. All right. <laughs> Ellis Martin of the Ellis Martin Report.